No, no, you're gonna get paint all over your nice outfit. I'm not dressed nearly as nicely as you. Oh my goodness. Great color. How would you describe this color? It's like a smoky, watery, lakey blue. In fact, I am sitting here watching you do your cut lines and I'm looking out the window and I can see the blues in the lake right from where I'm standing. It's awesome. They have great chemistry. Mm -hmm. Co-host of Sarah's Cottage, Tommy Smythe, is here not only to chat about all things design, but to tell us what brings you to Vancouver. Hi, Tommy. Hi, good to see you two. Yeah, um, welcome. You. And yeah, speaking of, of duos, yeah. uh, I am here for IDS West. Ooh, okay. So I'm super excited about that show in particular because it's, it's really a great combination of a public gathering mm -hmm. and my colleagues in the design profession. That's right. So we have a great fulsome discussion about design and what's new and what's next and what's happening. It's a meeting it's of a, the minds. Absolutely, but it's still, world. it's so professional, but it's still a public show. Right. So anybody can come. It's an inexpensive ticket. It's on for the whole weekend. Tonight we have our gala. Uh -huh. There are still tickets available for the gala, so mm -hmm. you can come down and party with me and Jonathan mm -hmm. Adler and Orlando Soria and all the people that are gonna be appearing. Yeah. So I'm super stoked about it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So what is your theme for the year? What are you gonna be talking about? Well, we at this show, I talk mostly about sort of big ideas. So finding inspiration, applying a bit of scholarship, right. and then a bit of courage. So this, as it relates to getting the exact home that you want, the best home for you and for your family. Right. Um, and really those big ideas do apply. You know, you have, to, you have to go out and be inspired. You have to look within and do a bit of scholarship in terms of how you wanna live, who you are, how you wanna be, mm -hmm. and then learn a little bit about the types of things that you wanna put in your home. I'm a big lover of vintage furnishings and antiques, so I encourage people to, you know, start a collection, start learning about the furniture that's in your home. And then of course the courage comes in um, because you have to, uh, take these ideas and take the scholarship and then have the guts to really follow it through and do something different, right. something unique. Something, something bold. That, yeah, yeah, something yeah. bold. Um, and something it's hard big. for people, yes, it's hard for people to have courage though. Yeah. Because, you know, your mother-in-law comes in halfway through and says, oh, is that the floor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then people you judge. They're oh, so yeah. judgy about your house. so judgy. Yeah. They're so rude. Yeah. <laughs> I, and so, you know, you have to have the courage to be able to say, you know, no matter what, I'm going to finish this project and not right. change gears, not ch change route midstream mm -hmm. um, and really follow through and finish. That's why I stopped inviting people over to my house, just because, you know, I was sick of hearing about it. Well, it's interesting with you and your wife. Yeah. Because you, what about people, uh, couples who have different styles? Yes. Yeah, I love vintage. I love finding pieces and seeing the potential. I see the potential in everyone, everything. Sure. And bring them back to life. She's more modern, and we always kind of struggle with that balance. What advice would you give us? Well, that's really a lesson in mastering the mix. If you each have a different thing that you bring to the table and you have to combine different elements, say it's contemporary furnishings and antiques, for instance, the most successful rooms the rooms that you look at in the international design magazines, the ones that people react to most are a mix. They're a real salad of right. different periods and styles, different textures, different things. The good news is, you know, the bad news is you don't get along necessarily in terms of your style, but the good news is there's so much out there in the world right. that there's a way to compromise as long as you learn about what's out there, really go far afield and have patience. I always say, you know, one of these days I'm gonna put this on a bumper sticker, <laughs> that impatience is the mortal enemy of good design. Mm. Good design takes time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the reason, one of the reasons it takes time is because if you're a part of a couple and you have different styles, you have to have a conversation about that before you get started. You have to really understand, you know, what are your absolute deal breaker items mm -hmm. and what are your things that you're a bit willing to compromise on and then take the time to find, to locate those compromise items. Right. Yeah, it's, it's always... It's always an ongoing battle, but you're right. I don't think we've ever actually sat down and said, okay, what are, yeah, yeah and, but there's been pieces show up. My wife has a bit of a rug problem and rugs show up and I'm like, what is this? We didn't talk yeah. about this. You so know? you don't have to just talk about kids yeah. and where you see yourself, but you have to talk about what, what the space is going to look yeah. like that you're going to share together. How you want to live in it. Right. And right. speaking of great spaces, we have some photos about yeah. some excellent rooms that you've done. Oh yeah. Uh, that we're going to show in just a second. So sure. This was our latest one. show. Yeah. So this is Sarah and I doing um, a rental cottage uh, on a lake in the Great Lakes. Um, so it was kind of a wild environment. There was a bear on the island. We never Ooh. saw the bear, but we saw his poop. 
Knew he was there. So we knew he was there. This is the coolest bunk wow, bed. Awesome. So this is yeah, seen. this is the kids' room. So we had had sleeping for um, up to six people in this space, little people. Mm -hmm. um, but the bunk beds were already there. We really this was a really really great sort of fabric bedding and paint story. This makeover. Mm -hmm. yeah. We didn't paint the floors. We left them natural. Here's the guest room. A shot of the guest room. Sarah and I made that paddle rack. Wow. Did you find these paddles at the place? Ooh, though, the paddles were Same there. The, the yeah. old water skis were there. The cottage came as many do with all of its contents. Right. Mm -hmm. So we kind of sifted through and decided what to keep for potential renters, yeah. what, might, what might actually make good decor, mm -hmm. right. um, and then threw out all the rest and started from scratch with certain things so that we could really put our stamp on it and make it a bit more contemporary, but re really keep the, fla the flavor of the building, right. which was a 1950s, mid-century modern structure on the Great Lakes, built mm -hmm. by an architect for himself and his own family. Mm -hmm. So you know a lot of care went into the design. It was a great building to begin with. Just needed wow. some paint yeah. and some fabric. And amazing, some. amazing how much uh, paint and fabric and a little bit of just uh, elbow grease going in can go. And yeah, teamwork, you and mm -hmm. Sarah, you yeah. are quite the dynamic duo. We're a really good team. Um, we have been working together. We've known each other for probably 25 years mm -hmm. and we've been working together for at least 15. I'm not exactly sure what the exact number is, but we've been together for such a long time that we're like, you know, we're so simpatico when mm -hmm. we do have those discussions, not battles, <laughs> discussions Big about difference. things that we disagree upon, um, you know, there's, there's always a way to come to a compromise. And mm -hmm. I, I have found through the years that whenever one of us kind of overrules the other and mm -hmm. really insists, yeah. mm -hmm. like when you get to that moment where you're like, I feel this strongly about mm -hmm. it that I'm going to overrule you, mm -hmm. then the, the other one invariably takes a step back and says, right. you know what? Okay, I'll take a leap of faith. And every time mm -hmm. at the end of the process, you're like, you know what? This looks pretty good. Yeah. You don't suck. <laughs> it's about trust. High fives. Yeah. It is. Trust each other. And yeah, and, and, and your experience and knowing and respect. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not going to do something that's too crazy. Well, maybe a little crazy, but it's going to yeah. work out. Well, it's going to be good TV. We like yeah. doing crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. We like doing crazy stuff that's different. I mean, Sarah painted the, the floor in the living room on that project green. Wow. And I wanted a sort of battleship or sweatpants gray. And um, she was really insistent. She kind of surprised me with it, and I didn't like it. And Sure enough, it went down, and all the other things went into the room to support it, and I ended up loving it. Wow. You threatened Eating to walk off first. set and oh, never come I had back. A tantrum, I flipped the table. <laughs> <laughs> Again, gray TV and sweatpant gray. Yeah. What a great way to describe it. And I know I'm going to be going home and having a discussion mm -hmm. with my wife. Yeah, tonight. just discussions. Well, thank you so much. Thanks Appreciate so much. all the advice, and uh, enjoy the weekend. Enjoy your time here in the city. Thank uh, you.